Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is unboxing day. We've got uh, another network cable tester that's arrived uh, from China. Came from AliExpress in bag number two, which you might have seen me unbox uh, in the mail call episode that came out yesterday. Um, I uh, got uh, an, a different uh, model, uh, the, uh, the um, Ampcom uh, cable tester. Um, I did an unboxing of this recently. I'll link it to you, link you to it in the show notes. Um, this one just does Ethernet, but this one that we're looking at today, it does uh, Ethernet and HDMI. So I'm going to pop you over to the booth and we're uh, sorry over to the bench and we'll uh, have a look at this guy. And um, yeah, that'll be that. That's what this video is about. Just having a look at the new network cable tester that's arrived from AliExpress. Here we are on the computer. Um, before I take you over to the bench uh, to have a look at our new bit of equipment, I thought I might have a look at it with you um, on the web uh, where I bought it from. So I've just gone to the show website and I'm loading uh, the equipment page. And then I'm just going to search for a cable tester. And I've got this cable tester here. And this is the Ampcom model that I uh, demoed the other day. Uh, and this is the uh, the one that we'll be looking at today, the OU LLX NSS681 HDMI RJ45 cable. Now, this Ampcom one, I actually paid uh, $7.84 Aussie bucks, uh, whereas this one I paid $6.93 Aussie bucks. So the one we're looking at today was cheaper than the other one, and it has an additional capability, which is the HDMI test. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this one if you are interested and uh, we can have a look here and uh, that's the uh, the link to AliExpress so click through there if you want to buy it they've got a deal I don't know if it's available to everyone but they've got a welcome deal for $1.50 Aussie bucks at the moment um, this uh, is a quick video so this is a 30 second video just showing you um, what you can expect from the device uh, this device is actually smaller than the Ampcom model, uh, so it's uh, it's it's better in every in every regard, um, and it's cheap as chips, and it works just the way uh, you would expect. Uh, you can see now they're demoing the uh, the patch cable, whereas previously they were demoing the uh, HDMI cable. So when this video finishes in a second, I'll show you the other photos. This is the front view. Uh, it can, you can power it from micro USB. Uh, okay, so it detects whether you've got uh, HDMI or, or patch cable in. Uh, one AAA battery in the back to power it. And you can see the HDMI there on the remote. So, um, yeah, and, and the, um, the description basically just has the same photos that we've already seen up above. Uh, it's uh, from mainland China. Uh, the brand name they say is OU LLX, so uh, it's the 681. There you go. Um, okay, so uh, I think that's everything there is to know about uh, about this particular bit of equipment. And now we'll pop you over to the bench and let's have a look at how it works. Here we are on the bench. So uh, today we're going to be unboxing our new uh, network cable tester which is this guy right here um, and uh, and we'll give it a run for its money. Now this uh, cable tester can do RJ45, RJ12, RJ11, uh, HDMI and I don't know what did, I don't know what that is so but basically it can do uh, ca Ethernet cables and HDMI cables so uh, bad English on the front of the cover there. Now it comes with a little um, uh, USB type A to USB type micro B I believe that is or maybe it's mini USB. Uh, anyway we'll probably put a battery in this thing so we won't need to power it off the USB power. <coughs> um, and I suppose before we have a look at this one I might tell you um, just recently on this channel I, uh, I did an unboxing of this um, which is an Ampcom 
uh, Ampcom network cable tester. Now this particular cable tester can't do HDMI, so uh, and but it does have a cool little light in it. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's, it comes with a light and it's got the remote part here and the, the master part here. Um, it's, it's got slots for RJ45s uh, and also for the smaller RJ11 and RJ12s. So uh, this Ampcom one, it, it works great. Uh, it takes a little five battery, a, five, a nine volt battery in the back. Um, and we, we, we did the unboxing of this just recently. I'll, I'll, I'll link you to the unboxing for this one in the show notes. But bottom line, this one is cheaper and, and can do HDMI. So um, if you're going to be buying one, I recommend you buy this one. Uh, I assume anyway, um, we'll have to finish this unboxing first just to make sure that it all works. Um, and uh, there's no surprises there. So, uh, there we go, it's coming with instructions. Now, I don't believe the other one did come with instructions, so there you go. Now it says, power supply uh, type, computer network cable tester, uh, instructions, counterfeiting of brand patented products must be investigated. Dear me. So, um, uh, okay, NSS 681. HDMI, HDMI mini. Looks like they've got a number of uh, products uh, here. Now, what have we got? We've got, uh, I think this is probably the uh, 681 HDMI. Yeah, okay. So this is the middle one that we've got. They've obviously got other brands. Um, this is not branded Amcom. And I'm not quite sure what kind of a battery that is. That looks like a AAA battery to me. That's no problem. I've got a couple of those in the drawer. So, uh, I've got uh, Ethernet uh, and then HDMI. HDMI on the bottom. So, let's see what it says. Uh, four telephone lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, network, double stranded wire, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, HDMI, HD data cable, one, two, three, one, eight, one, nine, twenty. Uh, root by root pair test can distinguish, determine that one right is wrong line, short circuit, open road, test. Uh, turn on the power switch of the tester and select the function switch corresponding to the test cable. Okay. Oh, there we go. So there's a switch and it can be in uh, off in the middle, RJ45 at the bottom and HDMI at the top. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, insert the plug of the test cable into the corresponding socket uh, and according to the remote testing machine sequence lamp shining order to determine the test is good or wrong line normal line sequence flashing results network line main test machine one two three four five six seven eight uh, telephone line okay we, we're not going to do telephone line uh, and the remote testing sequence okay and then HDMI, G123 to 18 to 19 to 20. Okay, wow. So obviously there's uh, there's uh, 20 um, lines in the, in the HDMI cable. I didn't know that. That seems like rather a lot, doesn't it? All right, so um, uh, when the wiring is incorrect, the line sequence lamb will not shine in turn. Uh, in short circuit, the remote machine is light or not bright. When the test is less than two connected to the line sequence, light is not bright. If the distribution frame or wall block module is tested, the corresponding lead wire shall be connected to the tester. The main tester can be completed independently and the switch pairs line one. When the connection switches into the tester socket, a master test machine light is not on when inserted to the original. I don't understand this. Uh, it's, it's not good English, and I, I don't know exactly what they mean. But I say we just put a battery in this thing and see if it works. So it looked like a AAA battery to me, and there's some AAA batteries. Let's 
see if that works. Oh. Yep, beauty. Now, if we uh, put him down, down to the bottom, that will be the RJ45. So I've got uh, two RJ45 cables to test with. Um, this one says it's a, a Cat 6 1 meter. So uh, let's give that a go. Alright. Well, let's uh, split him apart. Very good. Now, this one goes in there. Clip him in. And this one goes in here. We'll clip that in. So we'll put them back together so you can you can see. All right, now we put it on bottom. RJ45, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, so that's obviously a straight through cable, which is what we were expecting. I'll turn him off and take him out. Put this cable away. We won't be needing him anymore. And let's do the next cable. Now this is advertised as a crossover cable. I believe this is the same crossover cable I used when I uh, did the uh, the Ampcom unboxing just last week. So let's uh, put him together. This guy's going in there, and this guy's going in there. All right, I'm putting back on RJ45 mode, <clears throat> and so you can see that. Uh, uh, one goes to three, two goes to... Oh, I missed it. It's going to, just a bit too fast for me to keep up. But you can see that the um, the, the pins are uh, out of out of sync, which basically means it's a crossover cable. Or if the thing's not quite exactly right, it could be any sort of broken cable, I guess. I I, uh, I don't know what the, the sequence should be um, for a crossover cable, but it's probably something like that. And this crossover cable uh, did work. No, I'm not sure, um, but I have no reason to doubt that the cable uh, is a is a is a, a a genuine, bona fide, fully functional Ethernet crossover cable. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now we get to test our 20 line HDMI cable, and I had no idea that a HDMI cable had 20 lines in it. 20 wires. That's a lot of wires, isn't it? So uh, actually, you know, I betcha that this one doesn't uh, actually have all of the uh, the wires in it. So uh, this is just a cheapo um, uh, US uh, HDMI um, cable. So let's see which uh, wires it has and which wires it doesn't have. So we put him on HDMI mode. <coughs> okay, missed three, missed nine, missed twelve. Miss 15, miss 18, no 3, no 9, no 12, no 15, no 18. Haha, <laughs> isn't that great? I'll see if I can find a better quality uh, HDMI cable. Here's a good thick, chunky uh, HDMI cable. So we'll give him a test and see what he comes up as. <clears throat> so let's just uh, turn him off for a second. Oh, there we go. And we'll take out our cheapo HDMI cable. Still had a lot of wires in it. It was only missing four or five, wasn't it? Now, let's put this guy in there. And we'll wrap this bit around here. Oh, what have I done? I've tangled myself. All right, put him in there. All right, I've made a mess of things, so I'll just uh, fix that. There we go. All right, so let's see if we've got all 20 wires this time. Up we go. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wonderful. So it's... Uh, it's got all 20 wires. Excellent. Excellent. I'm just going to do the uh, the um, the, uh, the the patch cable again, the Ethernet patch cable, because um, I didn't notice if that um, <coughs> had uh, the ground wire. I don't. I'm not expecting to see the ground wire go up on the patch cable, um, but we'll see. I don't think that there's a pin marked ground on a on a UTP RJ45. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, no, that's not the one. Uh, so here he is. This is just the cable I wanted to test again. Let me put him in there and put him in there and on. Yep, they're just it's just one to eight. That's what I wanted to say. Very good. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy with this bit of equipment. Um, it takes one AAA battery as compared with the nine volt battery uh, from the amp comp model. Um, and the HDMI functionality seems to work as advertised. It can do all 20 pins on a full HDMI cable. Um, I'm very happy with this bit of equipment. So uh, uh, that concludes this video. Um, thanks very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe.